So these are the two chandeliers this customer selected among other samples I sent him. Let me show you. So I sent simple ones and also bigger ones because I didn't know exactly what he wanted. Actually he said it's for his new house. The wirings are almost over. The chandeliers need to be fixed. You know why they are fixing other lights. So he needed something cute for the house. I sent him all these samples. It was difficult for him to choose at first. And I thought the samples wasn't um, big enough. Maybe up to his taste. So i went for bigger crystal chandeliers i went to their shops you know different people they sell different types of chandeliers in the market i think the big crystals were too big <laughs> so he settled for this medium cute um, led chandeliers and this one is called sky ceiling chandeliers led sky ceiling chandeliers that's the one he settled for and the second one is just a uh, LED chandelier. That's what was written on the carton anyway. And I think this one is more beautiful. And these are uh, other chandeliers I sent him, the videos I sent him for him to choose from before he finally chose the two that he chose. I just thought, let me play some of the videos as well. So to all the chasengo singo, you are trying me three droppings. You can make it to the sample of this one. So it's in a um, blue, blue light inside. You can put any color. All this fancy light. You can put any color inside. So he needed for me to make sure that it's well tested. You know, the ones he chose is well tested before I will package it and ship it to him. I told him not to worry. I will not only test it, I will make videos of the testing for him to be assured that I tested them well and that they are all intact in order and working fine. I was able to explain to the sellers um, that I want to make this test, you know, I want to test these lights. Um, that's what the customer wanted. And thank God they were quite accommodating because if you go to buy these lights, all these wholesalers, they are, they are not particularly giving attention to all those more small things. The light is working fine. Why won't it work fine? how many are you buying that you're disturbing them like this and all that but these particular people they really allowed me to do all the fixing on that video and all that and i was able to make the video for the customer of course i needed their help i have to borrow one of them it was very difficult but i have to borrow one of them to help me to connect all those things to because and what they said is that they can't just fix it as if they are fixing it to the ceiling because that will take time and at the, at the end of the day it's not just fixing it to that place the way it's supposed to be on the ceiling they will have to dismantle everything lose all the boats and the knots and everything and still package it back inside the carton and they can't do that so what they would do for me is to connect all the required cables and make sure it is working test it in the light and i will see that it is working and i said okay it's fine with me and that is just it and the guy was helpful as well by explaining everything all the connections under the video so that the owner the buyer will know exactly what to do i was very grateful for that So these are the extending crystals that um, the owner needs to fix at the sides of the chandeliers and to make it look like extending feathers or something like that or branches and it kind of looks cute. So 
so thankfully the guy that attended to me offered to help me and fix all of them that's all the crystals on all the chandeliers and they're about um, 12 to 15 pieces so he helped me to fix all of them <laughs> thank god he did this because this really took him a while to finish he really took his time And just when I thought I've seen it all, <laughs> this second chandelier, which I actually bought from another shop altogether, really give me really wahala. It really give me wahala. Ah, to set up this chandelier is a big work. It's a big work. So the man was really he didn't even have a problem with me wanting to set it up under a video. He just handed me over to his boy and said he should just set it up while I video what he was doing. So I was videoing and videoing and videoing as well until I was tired. <laughs> so since the thing was taking too much time, I started videoing other things and <laughs> I got those that my meals. <laughs> I saw the video and all that thing, so I was, I was tired of videoing what it was. Tighten one knot, passing one wire from the one knot to the other, passing. Ah uh, ah. Uh, I, I, I beg, I'm not tired. <laughs> I did was tell the boy to hold the camera for me why I did some of the demonstration of how he has showed me the lights is going to be connected so I did some of this demonstration on the camera for the customer to see why he held the camera for me So finally the Onga took over from there and tested the, all the lights, all those branches because that is how they are going to test it for me to make sure that all the branches of the chandelier is bringing light. So what he did was test three at a time, three at a time and that was going to take him four times to test all the branches three at a time. He put all the live wire on one side of the choke and put all the neutral wire on the other side of the choke in order to test the tray at the same time. And as you can see, this uh, chandelier is white and one white, just like the other one that we uh, we finished with. This one is warm and uh, white and one white. That's the colors of the chandelier. And the colors will be appearing once you on and off your switch as you on and off your switch the different colors the white will appear the one white will appear and both the colors will also appear So I wasn't um, too okay with the 
the initial demonstration I made before. So I made another one with all the parts and the ogre helped me to make this demonstration while he explained how everything is going to be fixed under the camera for the owner to know and it was very satisfying for me. I wasn't sure if these stars were showing when these guys tested it for me. This I was supposed to see these stars. So I had to bundle it and carry it back home. I said I wasn't seeing stars. What happened? <laughs> so the guy laughed and tested it again for me. I said, is this not stars showing? That I can't see it this afternoon. That he merely reflects on the ceiling and mainly at night. And that's where I will see it. <laughs> so I was already scared. I, I didn't even notice that black area in the beginning where we tested it. It's when I went back to the shop and I looked at the pictures and everything to compare and contrast. That's when I started noticing all those different and I had to come and complain and thank god even that area was settled so i forwarded all the videos to the customer which i've been doing all the while we were doing those process even the packaging and everything the names for him to see that everything was written accordingly as it's supposed to be and he was very happy so that's today's episode guys hope you enjoyed this video if you want us to do your personal shopping of any electrical or electronics items from alaba international markets or you a seller best for you because this is the cheapest place to buy your market very very cheap direct from importers and distributors and make big profits just send us whatsapp message on the phone number provided in the description the phone number is in the description just send us whatsapp message and we will get back to you make sure you have subscribed to our channel because that's the only way to stay in touch with us and be part of this big family and if you have enjoyed this video give it a big thumbs up and click that subscribe button and your notification bell so you don't miss our weekly video and i'll see you in the next video thanks for being here